Isaiah 2.22 reads, Cease ye from man whose breath is in his nostrils, for wherein is he to be accounted of? Right, so I go over to my study Bible here now and I read it. In the study Bible, you know, what that what that uh, means, that, that, that verse, you know, and it says here, and it's such a, such a good... Um, such a good explanation and such a good verse for the times we're living in and you'll know just now when I read it to you whose breath is in his nostrils refers to our human mortality people are very limited when compared to God they can be unreliable selfish short-sighted yet we trust our lives and futures more readily to mortal humans human beings that to the all-knowing God so basically what 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 it's saying is we trust more than humans than we do to our creator God the very one who knit you and formed you in your mother's womb and bred life into your lungs we we trust more than humans the same humans that he created we're trusting in them over him and you can see that going on in the united states of america right now with this donald trump guy all of these people are putting their trust in these politicians instead of the almighty god the very one they should be calling on you know so it says beware of people who want you to trust them instead of god remember that only god is completely reliable he is perfect and we can rely on his mercy and enduring love. Only trust in God. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord thy God and lean not on thy own understanding. And all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. He's the only one you trust in, not man. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and turn away from this world that will send you into hell. And stop putting your trust in Donald Trump and all these politicians that don't care nothing about you. Amen and hallelujah.